In today's video, I am going to be breaking down the differences between Kai Soto and the supposed number one overall draft pick next year, Paolo Banchero. Let's get down and let's check out these two amazing basketball players. Okay, so in this first clip, we can see that Kai Soto is an absolutely amazing passer from anywhere on the court, whether he's in the low post passing out or whether he's in the in the quick pass situation where he's out on the perimeter and he's able to get that ball into the low post, he's able to do that accurately from pretty much anywhere on the court. Now while both of these players play two different positions, Paolo is more of a forward while Kai Soto is more of a forward center, we can see that Kai Soto is even able to keep up speed wise with much smaller, shorter players at the pro level. The only issue here is when he is running beside that offensive player who is definitely a guard. The only issue that I see is when he is trying to keep up, he's not staying square towards that defender and is running alongside the defender, which is a pretty big mistake if that was a smart player who would then be able to snatch back and pull for a mid-range shot but instead we don't see that and he's able to get that block he's also able to do quick shot fix to get his defenders up into the air and he's able to slam down dunks on professional level players and in the screen and roll we can see that he has absolutely fantastic footwork planting that left foot as a zero step and then going right left up with his left hand by the way he's ambidextrous and he was able to make that shot as well this is a very high level player and when it comes to dribbling that ball, he's able to do over or high over crosses and he's able to finish even with his right hand on the left side. He is ambidextrous, I've said this before, but moves like this show how good he really is. However, there are times where when he drives towards the basket against smaller defenders, he still gets wrapped up, but he is still able to fight through and make those shots. He also knows how to use the backboard, which is something that so many young players don't know how to use. Here he's able to hit it off well above that box. Everyone teaches to hit it off that corner of that square. I teach it. Everyone teaches it, but if you are a basketball player and you really want to get good, learn how to use different areas of the backboard so that you are able to score against bigger or even stronger defenders. Here he's able to do that. He also knows how to take quick shot fakes, one dribble moves, and then creates body contact to be able to get that foul call and lay it softly off the glass. Now here we see Paolo Banchero and he is able to fight through a lot of body contact to get and ones. To me, I think Paolo is actually a much stronger physical wise player than Kai Soto. Kai Soto is strong, but Paolo is just man strong. The only thing is, he is playing against younger, not, an, not as experienced competition as Kai Soto right now. He's also good creating transition baskets for himself. Earlier he was well beyond the screen and he is able here to notice that hey that team was able to miss their shots and he's able to then basically complete a big big dunk by basically cherry picking in a way noticing that his team was going to get that rebound and then of course torture army. Now Paolo Banchero is also very good with the spin move. Here we see him cutting back door or essentially back door behind the defense anyways because his defender came too far too high. Because of that when you see your defender lift you need to cut along the baseline. We see that here he's able to get that ball takes a quick dribble towards that middle of the key and then he's able to spin around and he's able to seal his man and still create contact and make that basket. He's also very good at defense, we can see this here, very good with footwork, but he does lose it every once in a while when there is a smaller guard who is getting in his way, we've seen this a few times. Also, being able to run a fast break two on one like this takes a lot of skill. Personally, I think that Paolo is a much more polished player. We can also see that he is very good in the low post, being able to post up players even though he's not really truly a center. 
This is actually a very, very good move. So here what we see is a quick jab towards that left, almost like a rocker step, where he is quickly faking and then doing that rocker hezzy type move and then he's able to take a dribble and a jab towards that left side which moves his defender out towards the middle of the key and he's able to spin around one two and finish with a massive dunk if you want to be a very good player this is a move that i would suggest you learn he's also very good just playing bully ball in the low post too but so is kai soto that's kai soto's game playing bully ball and using footwork to his advantage now i'm going to say that the rock Rocker step right here is something that, of course, Paolo really does practice, probably a lot. He does get a foul here, but this is an old school move in my opinion, but it's still a very good move. That rocker step that we see where you just basically move your upper body, make it look like you're going to jab that way, make it look like you're going to jab that way, and then you go back that way, makes the defender go back down onto his heels, and it's definitely a move that everyone should add to their game. Overall, I would say that Paolo Bonchero is a much more polished player. His body is more filled out than Kai Soto as well. And the other thing about Paolo Banchero is his ability to just be just so physical and handle it. While Kai Soto is a very physical player too. However, sometimes it just seems that maybe his hands are not gripping the ball as much as they should possibly but he tends to lose the ball when players hack down on him Paolo Banchero has that happen every once in a while too but it's usually in a fast break situation so there are some very close similarities similarities between these two players however at the same time we will be seeing Paolo go number one and Kai Soto may go for this year's draft or he may uh, basically wait until the year after I personally think he's going to play another year in the NBL, but we'll just have to see. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.